doesn't die, but I thought I charged it. I think the charger broke, but okay. So let's go ahead and get into this hair real quick because this might be a lengthy video depending on how long the cutting and styling process is, but I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this bob. And when I tell you guys I love it, like I feel like this is one of the best units I've done. Um, the only thing is I cut it a little asymmetrical not on purpose but it turned out to be cute and my battery is blinking so hopefully we get we get this done all right um so this is from rpg hair as you can see in the title they actually have a sale going on 25 percent off grand opening so be sure to check that out i have three 14 inch bundles and a 14 inch silk based clothes no this is not silk based this is a four by four lace closure sorry um it's silky straight uh, when it came, it wasn't too straight, as you'll see probably on the video, um, because, of course, it's straight hair, and then when it's being shipped and stuff, it's going to just crinkle. So, um, you'll have to flat iron it to get this straightness. Um, what else did I want to mention? It didn't have any tangling. The wefts were a little bit thick, like when I was trying to put the needle through, but other than that, uh, that's fine with me. Um... I didn't have any shedding the only time hair came off was when I cut it off uh, so like I said I don't want to make this too long this Indian version here as I mentioned um, I'm going to show you a few things that you might need to gather if you're going to go ahead and try this and let's go ahead and do that before my camera dies so I used the irresistible me diamond flat iron and I think I'll put a link below if I can find it also, well, I know I'll be able to find it, so I'll put a link below for this flat iron. I used these clippers, and they were like $15 at my beauty supply store. You're going to need hair scissors um, and a, a comb, just a fine tooth comb. And you can also use a razor if that's what you do when you cut hair, but I don't use razors. And a few other things you might want to gather is sticking to my lips. Okay is I use rubber bands like as ponytail holders, a uh, hair clip just to keep some of the hair out of the place. I mean, keep some of the hair in place. Um, a tweezers, I use that to pluck my part. And um, I used a Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine when I was flat ironing to ensure that I protected the hair because it is human hair as well as um, gave it a slight luster even though the they want to start that right now <laughs> even though the hair already had a great luster so um it was really just as a heat protectant now for me to lay my part down um you see how flat it is i use these three things water in a spray bottle um some type of mousse or foam wrapping lotion and a hard or medium hard bristle brush and you're good also use a stocking cap um as you'll see in the video so Let's go ahead, let's get started so I can show you guys how I achieved this bob. It's so sexy. I love it. Hi guys, so this is the wig we're going to start off with. I don't want to turn it to the front because it's going to mess up. Um, it's going to um, darken. But for the most part, we're doing good. So um, this is just a standard 14 inch wig. Okay, so first what I'm going to do has everything to do with the part. Uh, don't want to move it in too close um but basically i'm just going to pluck out my part so that is about all i'm gonna pluck I'm gonna lift her up a little so you can see the part is pretty deep and it looks really good um you don't want to take too much from back here because this is the part that will cover the track in the back. So um, go as deep as you can, leaving a little bit of room to cover the back. And that's it for the part for right now. All right, so now what I'm going to do since I got her all plucked and basically set for this next part, which is basically just going to be taking some of this foam wrap in lotion and you can also use mousse um but i just have this so i decided to use it because it reminds me of mousse and it's actually wrapping lotion 
Uh, I used to use it, as I said, to define my curls with my TWA on my natural hair. So I'm just gonna take that, make sure she's parted in the middle, take some of that foam and put it on both sides. And this is to make sure that it sits flat because the closure has a little bump in it over here. Um, so we're gonna do uh, a pre-flattening because the flat iron will get that. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle and just try to get some water up out of here. No, not that water. All right, so now it's too tight. So I'm just gonna wet the top of it really. Um, and I'm gonna soak it actually. So after I do that, once she's wet, um, I'm gonna do some back here. I'm gonna take this a little bit more foam, not too much, just like that. Put a little more on. I'm gonna take just a hard bristle kind of brush. Um, this one's dirty because I did my pink wig with it, but um, yeah. I'm gonna take that and brush her. Yeah. Just gonna brush her down and make sure she's flat and bumpless. Also, your install will have to be good, you know. Make sure it's smooth. You see no bumps. And the same on this side. Just brush it down. You can also just play with your baby hairs at this point, but at the, for the most part, you might use edge control for that. So make sure you got that track in the back covered up. And she should look something like that. Um, gonna take this wave cap right here um, and put it on her and let it sit for a while. Move these pins out of her face. Give her one last brush. And I do have pins holding down each side and the back so that the wig doesn't move as I do this because you don't want to move the part as you work on it. So I'm just going to put this on her. She looks like a bank robber, I know. But I'm going to let that sit for a while, for about 10 minutes. Um, while this is sent ten, <laughs> while this is sitting, I'm going to go ahead and get my... Okay, so this is the diamond flat iron. A few points I want to mention about that. Um, I will. They're basically all right here. Uh, I do like this LED screen, which you might not be able to see, but I have it at 400. The buttons are inside here, which is the power down temperature, up temperature. It goes up to 450 degrees. It has green lights, which you really can't see, but it lets you know when it's heated up all the way. And honestly, it took about 10 seconds to get heated. On the plates, you can see that there's some type of diamond technology on the ceramic plates. It is um, sprinkled with diamonds, and that is to protect your hair, keep your natural oils in, keep it frizz free. Uh, has a slight scent because this is my first time using it. Um, so yeah. So that's really all I wanted to talk about. This is how the packaging looks. Uh, yeah, it's a really cute box and I'm gonna keep it. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to mention about that. And it is auto shut off in case you, you know, leave out for school or class in the morning and forget to turn it off. It does shut off automatically and I love that. So let's go ahead and get started. Homegirl still sitting over here looking like a bank robber. The reason that I heated up the flat iron was to um, just smooth that down while it was under there. Um, make sure the part stays flat. So what you want to do is take your wig brush or your comb. Make sure she's combed all the way out. You don't really have to worry too much about the front right now, but I'm just going to comb her out. 
you can eyeball it and just try to take the back portion of the hair. If you guys need to see that again, I'll go ahead and do it. So I took my fingers, went from each edge, and just board it under. So now you have about that much hair left over. So now that you have a ponytail, I kind of know where I want mine to lay. You can pull it down to where you want it. I'm gonna put it to like right there. So that's cutting off a lot of this ponytail, I know. Um, but yeah, it'd be like that sometime. So what I'm gonna do is keep pulling it until I get my desired length. The mannequin will be kind of your guideline. So if this is the bottom of your neck, you will wanna pull it down there. But I'm just gonna pull it because I know I'm gonna cut more off. So I'm gonna pull it a little bit lower than where I want it, which is to be like right there. I'm gonna pull it down a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this ponytail, take my hair scissors, um, So now what I'm gonna do while that's still in the ponytail, I'm gonna take this hair over here. All right, so now that you have a crazy looking style right here, you're gonna go ahead and take your clippers. When you're doing bobs, you're either gonna use clippers and hair scissors, clippers, razor, and hair scissors, just hair scissors and a razor. It's really up to you. I decided to use clippers because um, it's easier. I use the um, turbo ones. I got these from my beauty supply store for like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, it works pretty well for me. Nine pieces in here. It comes with combs, come with guards. Also comes with um, oil to clean your razor. Uh, not a razor, but the clippers, a brush to brush it off, some scissors, um, a comb. I didn't mention already in a cover for your clippers this part right here uh, as you know I'm not a hairstylist so I don't really know much about this stuff and what it's called so let's go ahead and get started you plug it right into the wall and you black and gold really cute I mean there's just clippers <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the ponytail now it's gonna be really hard for me to show you guys because I am doing it on camera but I'm gonna try my best as you can see that cut wasn't that bad but we do have some work to do on this back part, this portion back here. So I'm going to comb it through. You want to keep your comb on hand because you're going to have to comb a lot so that it'll come out even. So you might be scared of the clippers and they might be too loud for you to hear me talking, but just watch it. So I have to move it back because the cord. But remember, you said you wanted to cut it about right here. So go in, and I'm doing this with the wrong hand, but go in and cut it. And you know, it's not gonna be perfect. So don't worry about being perfect. And with each cut, you want to go ahead and comb it. It's gonna look like shit at first, okay? But that's what, where your scissors come in and you're going to fix it. Take the razor clippers and now you want to go in to the side, right? Alright, so as you can see, this is uneven. But that's okay because that's what your hair scissors are for. Um, being that this is on a styrofoam mannequin, I can't go all the way through. Okay? So it's going to be uneven. But that's what your hair scissors are for. Now, you want to go ahead and get another rubber band or hair tie ready. Because now you're going to go in and you're going to shape it how you want. As you can see, I kind of already clipped how I wanted it. I wanted to go boom and have a slight curve so that it's not just straight and then boom. I want it to be low, have a curve, and come down to a longer bob. So now I'm gonna go ahead, 
uh, part it in sections and work on some trimming. There's again, but I'm not gonna cut off too much. I know you guys can't really see because I have it on the angle. And then if I move over, it'll be in the way. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use the scissors and I'm gonna use the clippers. Oh, before I do that, one, two, three, four. So every four tracks, I'm parting it into like sections of four tracks and just gonna cut it from there. Scissors and clippers, just going back and forth. Remembering to comb it all the way through um, as you cut. As you make a cut, you wanna comb. ponytail that's about right there you want to roll it down to your desired length in the front I know I want mine to come down on an angle so I'm just gonna take this much off of the ponytail and this is about four or five inches that I'm gonna take off and I'm just gonna cut it off although this will be diagonal you can cut that bit off kind of straight I guess and then take the ponytail holder out So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna comb it. And you wanna comb it so that you get these little pieces from back here too. So you see, that's not a bob. We all know that is not a bob. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the clippers again. 